here. Do you want to be in today's devotional? Come here, so everyone can see how fluffy you are. Come here. Oh, Konya never gives cuddles on camera. This is such a good moment. Tori Nugget. <laughs> Don't be a monkey. Good morning, everyone, and I hope you are remembering to smile today after yesterday's episode. It'll make you feel better. And today we're going to talk about the priority of prayer. And in today's devotional, which is March 10th in The Confident Woman, Thor, please, it talks about how prayer needs to have a priority in your life. It says you do not have because you do not ask. So if you're going to succeed in life, you have to be willing to ask in order to receive. How you ask is also very important. The effectual prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. What kind of person? A righteous person. That's not someone who feels guilty or condemned or not good enough or as if God is angry with them. And it's also not someone who is fearful, cowardly, timid, indecisive, and double-minded. And so even if you're not secure within yourself, you can have comfort in knowing that Jesus paid the ultimate price. <laughs> Thor, please stop. And so in his ultimate sacrifice and dying on the cross for your sins, that is how you are righteous, not because of your own doing. You're not righteous. None of us are righteous. Doesn't the Bible say that our righteousness is like filthy rags and that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God? Yes, it does. But it is not our own righteousness that we wear into the prayer closet. It is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So that just means that we're not righteous by ourselves. We are righteous because Jesus died for our sins. And that gives us righteousness with God. So then we can come to God in prayer and have full confidence and knowing that we belong there and we belong in, in communion and talking with God and asking him for things. That's okay and he wants you to do that. We can call ourselves righteous women because he gives us right standing with God through his blood sacrifice. Lord, I thank you that because of the cross, I can come to you in your presence and pray. I come confidently knowing that I have the righteousness of Jesus. It doesn't matter what kind of person you are, where you've been in life, what you've done, Whatever you're thinking in your head, you know, if you're not good enough or, you know, how can you possibly have a relationship with God, the one who created the universe, you know, because of X, Y, and Z, it doesn't matter what you've done. God, God sent his son Jesus who paid the ultimate price for you. So you no longer have to rely on your own self to be righteous enough to go into the presence of God. Jesus makes you righteous enough to be in the presence of God and to be in communion with him and talk with him and be in prayer with him. And once you start putting prayer as a priority in your life, then you can start asking for things. And that doesn't mean like that doesn't mean asking for things like treating God like a genie, not, not in that sense. But that means just developing a, a daily relationship with him where you say, this is what's up, God. Like, this is what's going on. I need your help. For example, you know, Brandon having an injury today, we ended up having to go to a sports medicine therapist, specialist, uh, Dio. So just praying for that and saying, like, God, help us, like, help us find the right person, help us with the appointment to get an appointment today. Um, my friend, his mom was supposed to go in surgery today for open heart surgery. So at our, you know, doctor appointment, we're sitting there praying for his mom, you know, and just saying, God, please, like, let the surgery go well, you know, equip the doctors and let everything go smoothly, you know, help his family just to feel comfort and let everything go smoothly and their family to go back to normal. It's just that constant prayer and communication with God that is going to change your life and open up doors that would have otherwise never been opened because how do you expect the door to be opened if you're not willing to simply ask? So don't be afraid to ask. Start making prayer a priority in your life and watch things happen. Something that I want to say with that is Brandon and I are actually on the search for a new home. Uh, we're looking for another place to live. I don't know, I don't think I've told YouTube that, but I mentioned it on Instagram. And with that, it's actually really scary. It's, you know, we're staying in California, but we are looking for a different place. And it's just kind of scary up and moving when you don't necessarily like have to. Um, so that's something that we're praying about and it's something that we both strongly desire just to be in a different location than when, where we are right now. So we pray that if it's meant to happen, if God wants that to happen, that he'll just make it happen and it'll be smooth and we'll know that it's the right decision. I think there's nothing worse than like really, really wanting something and not being totally sure if it's the right decision. So we're just, we're praying about it constantly. And if you guys pray and want to pray for us, we would love if you guys would pray for us, just that God would direct us and that we would be listening to God throughout the whole process. But I do want to say it out loud because it's something that we're praying for. And if we end up getting like the perfect spot and moving where we want to move, then it's going to be really cool to kind of give that credit to God and say like, we've been praying for this and that's why it happened. So that's my little spiel for you. <laughs> Moving on to Jesus Calling. 
Thanks. <laughs> Don't mind Thor in the background. He's so cute. It says, you are mine for all of time and beyond time into eternity. No power can deny your inheritance into heaven. I want you to realize how utterly secure you are. Even if you falter as you journey through life, I will never let go of your hand. So regardless of what happens in life, you never, that insecure feeling that you have of you don't know what's going to happen and you know, something's not sure. Maybe it's the place where you live or your work or your relationship where you just have insecurity or you don't feel secure and whole and just protected, I guess. You can find that in God. God offers all of those things so that no matter what's going on in life, you are, you can be secure and you are secure. Your place is secured in heaven and that's the ultimate goal and destination for all of us. So by knowing that, it'll just give you a sense of peace that regardless of what's going on right now, like God is there. He has your back. Ultimately, you are going to be with God in heaven one day and you can just take rest and assurance in knowing that whatever is going to happen today, he has planned it out already and he has control over it. So Instead of reacting to things, be on the lookout for where God is working in your life. Instead of approaching the day as a blank page that you need to try to fill up, try living it in responsive mode. Being on the lookout for all that I am doing. It sounds easy, but it requires a deep level of trust based on the knowledge that my way is perfect. I know a lot of the times we like to do things our way and we all have a way to do things and whether that be the way that you do the dishes and you put the forks down or forks up, which by the way, I think they should go down because whenever you reach into the dishwasher, you're gonna grab where you, people put their mouths whenever you're cleaning it. So they should, anyways, you might have a way of doing things that you think is right, but ultimately you just need to have the trust and the faith that God's way is always the best way. If you can have that trust and faith, you'll, your anxiety, your stress, everything will go down so much because you'll just be secure in knowing that he's got it all mapped out for you. Your job is just to actively, actively wait. And what that means is just, you know, maybe God's not answering your prayers right now, but you're doing everything in your power and on your end that you're supposed to be doing. And part of that is being faithful and waiting, even if it's not the time right now. And again, that goes back to us looking for a place to be. It's something that we want so badly and we're actively looking for it. But in the end, if it's not the right time and we don't feel like God is presenting the opportunity and it's not the right thing, we're not going to do it as bad as we want it. We're praying that it is the right thing, we're staying hopeful, we really want it, but like I said in the end, if it's not a thing where we're both feeling strongly about it, then we're not going to do it. And I think that's just kind of showing our faith that we know no matter what, it, even if we don't see it right now, that God's way is the best way. And we're willing to follow that way, even if it means not getting what we want right now. So. Stay hopeful, you guys. Stay faithful. Continue to pray. Make prayer a priority in your life today. And go out and just have an awesome day. Be positive. Smile. Hug someone. <laughs> make someone else's day. Love your fur babies. I love you guys. I will see you in the next episode. Everything behind them and just jump off. Just jump off and actually enjoy free falling. And just trust you that you're big enough to hold them and help them through all of this thing we call life. And so I pray that they be jumpers, that they literally uh, be willing just to jump and go wherever you want them to go. So give them confirmation. I pray that they always go look and check out where they think you're moving them. But then you pick that place. So give them confidence that that is the right thing to do. And then I thank you for both of them that they think different. I thank you that Brandon could just take a pair of underwear and he didn't go in a pair of shorts and he's ready to rock and roll, no jump at all. And so help Emily, but it's good that she's a little safer and wants to know a little more before she makes that jump. And I just pray at the end of the day, they just get dressed and jump off together. So make them truly blend together. Let their, even their advice to one another, let it blend together, be a compromise. And then let them just hold each other's hand and freaking go for it. Life is way too short on this planet and hesitate. There's few people in this world willing to jump. May they be great jumpers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Love you guys. Jump. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Love you much. Love you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. bye.